welcome to the Chinese Mutt and Crabs Aquaponics Room. Let me show you around. We plant hydrillas to feed the crabs as a part of their diet, since the Chinese Mutt and Crabs are omnivores. Their diet is mainly composed of hydrilla, pumpkin, small fish, and chemical grains. The intermediate bulk container was cut open and filled with a sand bottom and is being used as a way to raise Chinese meat and crabs. We aim to imitate their real life living habitat. Another way to raise Chinese meat and crabs is through an integrated aquaponic system of crab, fish and vegetables. In this system, crabs are raised in individualized boxes. Under the program, 60 Chinese mitten crabs are being raised in the crab boxes individually. The boxes model the ideal living habitats for Chinese mitten crabs. The shallow water level in the box imitates the water level and the stream of their habitats. Food is fed by our student helpers. Temperature and water quality of the boxes are closely monitored. The first batch of Chinese missing crabs was raised by 62 students helpless here. On 22nd November 2019, CMC Bazaar 1 was successfully held at the central staircase of the first floor. All proceeds were donated to characters. As a part of the integrated system, the sump tank is used to store water supply to the whole system. There are three directions of the water circulation. The first is between the 60 crab box and the sump tank. The second is the vegetable growth bed and the sump tank. While the third is between the fish, filter and sump tank. The sump tank is essential in increasing water body and stabilizing the water flow and quality. The filter is composed of six layers. The first layer is filled with black heavy brush followed by coral lights in the second and third layers to balance water quality. The fourth and fifth layer are K1 biological rings which can prevent the growth of aerobic bacteria. The last layer is also porcelain bio rings in order to further increase the growth of nitrifying bacteria. Crabs are seasonal and are more sensitive to fluctuations within the environment. Therefore, fish was introduced in the system to stabilize the water quality. Besides aquaponics, we also have a set of 12 Aspera Smart Hydroponics System. Hydroponics refers to the method of growing plants without soil, but by using mineral nutrient solutions in an aqueous solvent. Also, it is a connected self-control system in which lighting can be adjusted to improve the growing environment and sensors are used to monitor the growth. Moreover, instant conditions of vegetables can be monitored over the internet. This allows us to take care of the vegetables in an easier and smarter way and let the students to learn how IoT can be integrated into indoor farming. Thank you very much for visiting our room and we hope to bring you good news soon. Thank you!